it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. How are you? <laughs> Today I'm gonna show you how to do another set of Pringles party favors. So you can see these are the individual serving. Um, and so this one already has the paper on. I'm gonna show you how to do the paper in a second. So the ones that you see up here, they have the dome. So the dome is, um, it's basically a fillable ornament from, my, um, I'm sorry, not Michael's, from um, Amazon. And so they go like this and you can, you know, it's typically for Christmas, you can put things inside and I think people normally um, think of Christmas ideas for these things, but you take half of the dome and you put it on top and that way you can add these fun little um, foam balls in them and they're just really cute. But I feel like if you're gonna have the dome, it needs to have something in there, right? So like I have one that doesn't have anything in it. Oh, this one right here, which I mean, it just feels like, oh, I have the dome. <laughs> but if you don't wanna use the dome, which is totally fine, that's what we're gonna do today is we're gonna try to decorate it, um, but not use any foam balls. And so it's gonna be um, a bigger, I feel like we have more space then, right? Because when we, when you have the dome, you're limited about an inch and a half um, in height. So that's gonna really um, limit what we can do. So anyway, so let's get started. I am doing a Tiana theme today because some of these pieces, these two pieces right here, are leftovers from an old project. So I sort of wanted to use it and see what it's gonna look like. All right, so let's first thing is let's do this paper. So this is from Michael's, it's um, it's in that 12 by 12, like kind of thick pad. So it's normally $20, but I wait till it goes on sale for five. And then sometimes you get an additional 20% off on top of that. So I love to buy the paper from there, but this one is, it's gorgeous. I mean, I think next time they have it, I'm gonna buy a ton more. So you can see it really um, just makes it look fancy. So anyway. Since it's paper, I've done it two ways. Um, this one's also paper and this one's paper. I've done it where I uh, have double-sided tape on it. I've also done it with glue. So it just, it's up to you what you feel most comfortable with. What I do know for sure that I like is I like having a thick band up on top and I like having a thin band on the bottom. It really gives you a lot of flexibility to hide things and also to seal things up. So that's why I'm not too worried about how you do this. I'm gonna just put glue down. So if you follow along in my design space tutorial too, I really, I, I have all my measurements out so that you can do this, um, but I love these cans because they just fit nicely. You go around, you don't have to worry about it being straight or anything like that. So, all right, so let's get this one down first. I'm actually gonna use my hot glue gun because I already have it ready and going. So I'm gonna lift it up a little bit, put the glue um, down underneath and then press down. And then I'm not going to worry about um, gluing all of it. I'm only gluing the edges. So, and I'm just gonna fold it over because it's so hot. And that way my finger can be right here. Um, so this is totally up to you. My edge is like this, and to me that looks fine. So I'm just going to add another layer of glue right here. Right now though, I just wanna make sure that my um, paper is wrapped nicely all the way around. And then I'm gonna take this and glue it right here. Now my daughter has um, offered her help in eating all the Pringles. So I have both empty cans and full cans. So I was gonna, um, I don't know, you guys will have to let me know in comments, but I'm half wondering, like seriously pondering this, um, do we decorate these without the Pringles inside? And like, it's just a decorative piece. There's nothing inside. Um, and the reason why I'm seriously considering it is because it is difficult to open up this top. I have made sure that this band goes above. So like, I'm gonna be quiet for a second. That band is above the lid. So when you go to open this, you're actually gonna touch the lid and not the band. So I did make sure that that is occurring because I don't want the lid to fall off and the whole decorative piece fall off. But I'm just curious, like, 
it would make me feel better if I could just glue everything down. So maybe we could eat the Pringles <laughs> and then, um, you know, and then sell the decorative piece as just like a decorative piece. Okay, so this is down. Next thing is we're gonna put on, I like the thin band on the bottom. Now the thin band, um, the way I measured everything is to make it as easy as possible. This thin band is going to sit right at the edge of the rim. So the rim and the band are gonna be touching um, the table when it's standing straight up. And that way it gives you a really easy way to make sure that it's lined up. You're just going right across. So um, I'm feeling the end right here. So I wanna make sure the end is right here so that I'm at the front. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue down on both the paper and the rim. And just a dot, just to get me going. So my paper is on and look how, I mean, this is so gorgeous. It's this white with the gold and the gold, it just looks so good. And then this bright green. Okay, so that's down. I'm gonna put my thumb on it and um, I'm basically just going to line the glue. I'm gonna use the rim as my, um, as my stencil. And then I'm just gonna put glue all the way over and then press the band down. And I like using glitter paper for this because the glitter cardstock, it's thicker. It can handle the glue. Um, and look at that. I mean, it just goes on so nicely. Okay, so this one I'm gonna go all the way over. And my measurement is um, for this to kind of line up right next, right up to each other. So you can see it goes like this. You can make it go further. I just, I didn't want, want it to be bulky. So, oops, um, that's why I did it that way. If you don't like that, just add a little bit more to the measurement. Okay, let's do this side. So just gonna take my glue gun in here right above the rim, the tin rim, oops, went a little bit off there, but that's okay. And then I'm gonna hold it down and just hold it down while it's drying. So you can see there's just like a little bit of a gap. I just didn't want it to overlap, but no one's looking behind right here, so. Okay, so here's your tin, here's your can. It's so pretty. All right, um, let's do the lid. So the lid, the way, um, I've tried a couple of different things to get this to stick. I've tried regular white glue. That was a hot mess. I tried the glue gun. Um, and the glue gun is okay, except for if you pull hard enough, the whole thing will detach and the glue will stick onto the paper, but it'll come completely off of this lid. So what I've liked so far is double-sided tape with this. So let's cut some pieces. So the I use 3M, and so mine comes in a big roll like this. So I'm gonna um, trim off some, cut some pieces to add on. And like I said, so I'm still kind of, I don't love this solution. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. So that's the thing. If there's another thing that you think we should try, please comment and let me know. I'm totally willing to try it out as well as my daughter. She'll eat the Pringles and we can, <laughs> we have lots to try here. All right, so I'm gonna peel this off. I'm gonna add another piece. Okay, so you see there's the tape and then the measurement for this 
round piece, it's gonna be a little bit bigger than the actual cap. So, and I did that on purpose because I wanted the, for the dome, for it to, the dome is gonna be inside, so that way when you're doing the glue, you have something for the paper and the dome to stick together. Um, and then I, for this, it works as well because we're gonna have this thick band wrapping around here, so it's fine. No one's gonna know that it's not a, of the same size. And I, I didn't wanna make it the same size, so um, there you have it. <laughs> All right, so this is on. So now let's put it on this piece. And I'm wondering what we should do next. Should we do, let's piece together some of these things so that it has time to dry. So this lily pad is on Design Space. I love it because look at all the layers and it becomes really thick because you can see that right there. And when you look at it, it just looks very, you know, 3D-ish. So, and I like being able to have this outline. I purposely shifted it. Um, I think the way it's designed was to like, you know, have an equal outline, but I really like the way this looks. Um, same thing with the frog. The frog is, has a black outline. You just wanna make sure, like this is two shades of green, and different texture. So this is glitter, but this is shimmer. So it just gives you that extra something more. Like besides the fact that it's a different color, it just feels differently. This is actually orange glitter cardstock and it's so pretty. So the whole thing is just super cute. All right, so let's do Tiana. So Tiana, what I did is I did print and cut. So here is, I was gonna try out this piece right here. So this is Neato Labels. I absolutely love it. The quality, I mean, it's night and day from what I was using before, and I always thought I had a printer issue. So try out the paper before you switch out a whole printer. Um, okay, so here she is. Um, what I like to do is I like to have just a regular piece where the sticker goes on top of, and then I like to have the outline. So this is going to be an outline of gold and then an outline of green just to give it something extra. So all right, I'm gonna peel this off right now. And you see how it has that outline? It does that, it, so it's the bleed is on so that your Cricut is going to look at these registration marks to know where to cut. So it's gonna scan the whole thing. It's gonna say, okay, I'm gonna go in, you know, like an inch and cut around this piece. And the bleed is on so that it doesn't, it cuts right up to the image and see, so there's an outline. So don't worry that the edges look like it's too thick. It's meant to do that. All right, so here's my little sticker. I mean, look how, let me see, sorry. It's just so pretty, so glossy. All right. Here is the piece that's gonna go straight on. And, okay, perfect. All right, then I'm going to put a foam sticker on so that it has a little pop, a little lift to it. And that way all the layers just look a lot better. Okay, so then I'm gonna put it on this gold. And it's just a thin outline, just enough to be extra. Can you see it? And it's shimmery, I love that gold. Okay, then this last one, I'm gonna put two on. I'm gonna put it right here. And what I'm gonna do with this one is I'm, I did two because on one of them, I wanna add glue. I wanna make sure that it's glitter paper, so I just, I never know for sure if it's gonna stay on that well. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on this one and then leave the sticky one on the bottom. All right, so here we go. And can you see, it's just so pretty. And then look at this side, it's just so it's not so flat. Okay, so there you have that. So what I was thinking is having her stand up like this on one of them. So 
I forgot <laughs> to put a little rectangular piece down here to fold over. So when I have forgotten in the past to do that, all I do is I'm going to add a foam piece right to the edge of it, okay? And that's what I'm going to glue down to here. Okay, so I'm going to add glue right there. I'm going to hold it until it dries and it's not a big deal. So let's And while it's drying, I'm actually going to put a little bit more glue down just to make sure that it's not going anywhere. Okay, can you see that? All right, I'm gonna let that dry for a second before we start messing with the, uh, with the, um, the ribbon. Okay, so let's do this one as well. We're just gonna do the bottom. Let's see, where's the thing? Okay, so it's right there. Add a little bit to the bottom. And it's just so easy to line this up. I mean, it's just one of my favorite projects already. I know I'm gonna love this, okay. I just want to make sure it dries. Okay. All right, that was pretty easy, right? Okay, so now we're gonna do this side and just make sure that the rest of the band goes down. Just this last piece right here. All right, so that's down. Let's look at this one. Okay, so she's pretty stable. I'm gonna lay it down like this and we're gonna add the rim. So what I've been doing with this thick one is this Pringles can is empty. <laughs> so on this one, I'm not too concerned about making sure that the lid is where I can put my finger, but um, I've been lining it up just above the Pringles can. So that way the lid, you can you know use your thumb to flip it up and then it would stand up like this. So from this distance, you can't see anything. From this, there is like a little, it's gonna pop up a little bit high right here, but I don't think it matters. I think it's, you know, it looks pretty and um, yeah, I don't see an issue with that. All right, so let's, just like the other one, we're going to put enough glue on here to get us started. and we're just gonna go all the way around. So I've been adding glue kind of right in the middle. So the glue is attaching itself to the paper, the white cardstock and the lid, and it goes above the paper just a little bit. I'm just trying to make it as sturdy as possible. All right. And it's really easy to line up. So I'm just going to hold it down for a second so you can see and 
Can you see the lid right here? You can hear it though, right? Okay. And later, if you feel like it's still not secure, we could always add a little bit more of glue on the inside. So where the two pieces of, uh, the two sheets of cardstock meet up. Ooh, that was hot. Okay, so now we'll do this side. And this one will go across like that, okay? So, let that dry a little bit. And I didn't put glue up here yet. I'm just holding it so that it's gonna dry. And I'm just going to run just to make sure. And I grab one more glue stick. Okay, so I'm gonna add glue here so that it can stick to the two pieces together. Okay. This looks so pretty. Um, and I haven't quite decided if I'm done with this one or do we add the lily pad right here? Because the lily pad is kind of big. So we have this option or I thought it would be cute to have little hearts. I don't know yet. Okay, <laughs> let's do this other one where we put the frog up on top. I know the frog is so big though. I feel like I shouldn't put the frog on at all. Would that look weird if the frog was behind her? It's too big, huh? I know, I'm really trying to work that piece in, but okay. So I think on this one, what I'm gonna do is, um, let's, let's put it aside. We'll, we'll edit this in a second, we'll see. But so far, this is what we have. But you can see this by itself is a piece, it just doesn't have the dome. So you could put the birthday girl's name right here, or the number, like, you know, she's turning six that would be really pretty layered as well. So I'm gonna leave that one as is, and actually I'll put it right here so you can scoot this one. All right, so let's do one more, and on this one we will do, oh, you know what, let me see how this one looks. So this one has a sticker as well, but see this one I did a tab. So I welded a little tab so that I'm gonna fold this and it's gonna sit, it's gonna be glued like this so that she will stay propped up. Okay. Um, I don't know how this is gonna look. I did not do an outline on this one. So this one is just, I mean, I guess I could, no. So there she is. 
So I was thinking something like this. So you have multiple pieces. Maybe I'll do the frog on one of them and a lily pad. So there's four. I think I'll do that. All right. So now you get it. Um, you can see all the bands, all the different color bands you can do um, and whether or not you want to add the dome and the foam balls. All right. I hope that was helpful. Let me know what you think and I will see you guys next time. Bye.